Welcome back to the channel, it's Nine, and today we are going to be talking about PlayStation making a new effort into the PC space with some new details that could point towards some PSN support in the future with PC titles, could be trophy support, cross saves, whatever it may be. And most of this comes from their FAQ on their website, and VGC does a great article about this as well, so we'll be covering that. Now, if you could do me a huge favor, like, subscribe, share the video, helps the channel a ton. Now let's talk about this new PlayStation effort towards towards PC support in a more elaborate or more extensive way than we have seen in the past. In their FAQ, they talk about trophy support and it says they will not sync with your trophies list on your PSM profile, but they do use the words currently, which implies that the situation has potential to change in the future, which would not surprise me. We've seen job postings for a role in more PC support for their games, and this could definitely be something that gets added down the, down the road. And I do think that that is gonna be a case. And under a question about requiring a PSN account to play PlayStation games on PC, the site states, no, you currently do not need a PSN account to enjoy PlayStation Studios games on PC. Again, once, once again, saying currently, which is the big reason why people are questioning it. Like, why does it say currently? Is that alluding to the fact that it may be something that is required down the road? We've seen other games do that, you know, could be Bethesda, could be Activision, could be whoever, right? There are definitely games that require you to log in. And I know that Doom was one of those games that had that as well. So it's not out of the ordinary for that to be a thing. And I do think PlayStation will want to do that. Obviously get more people uh, using their PlayStation Network accounts and uh, probably get more sales if they end up doing their own launcher, which I do think they're going to do their own launcher. So they'll get a bigger cut of the sales uh, when they sell their games. The site also says that it is currently not possible to transfer save data from the PS4 or PS5 versions of a PlayStation Studios game to the PC version. So again, currently, and that's kind of what this entire thing is running off of, the fact that it says currently and it doesn't uh, state like almost definitively as that there's never going to be uh, a way to do it, right? So I think that's what people are running off of. and. Other than that, it kind of makes the most sense, right? When we're talking about uh, bringing people on to the PlayStation Network and maybe getting them from PC over to maybe a console or maybe just being able to play their games on both sides without having to start all the way from scratch. Like for me, that's a big deal, right? If I want to support the game on PC, see what it offers in terms of visual fidelity and other features that aren't on the PS5, this would be a way to do that without having to start from the beginning and just loading up my file. So if this does become a thing, which I think it will become a thing, especially if cloud storage is supported on PC, this could be a very interesting incentive for people to double dip and maybe play their games on the PC as well as the PS5, as that's not out of the ordinary. I know it's a small population probably of people that do that, but it nonetheless is, is a reason for some people to do it. And I know I would, uh, and I'm sure there are many other people out there that would as well. But that is all I have for you guys in today's video. Please let me know what you think of Sony's efforts towards more support for PC games and possibly doing more cross integration between PSN and PC. Are you happy about this? Do you like that they're doing these things? Would you indulge in playing PlayStation games on PC? Let me know in the comments. And as always, if you have not subscribed already, subscribe, like, share the video, helps the channel a ton. I will talk to you guys all on the next one. Take care.